What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Josh and in today's video, I'm going to take you through a thorough stretching routine specifically for runners. So when you're ready, let's get into it. Okay, so as we all know, stretching is super important. It's a really good way to get the muscles nice and warm before we do any form of exercise. And this is especially important when going out for a run. Running is a very high impact form of exercise and we use lots of different muscles when we go running. So it's important that we're warmed up correctly before we start. So today I'm gonna to take you through six stretches which target lots of those big muscle groups that we use when we run. Now if you have time, I'd recommend that you do a few minutes foam rolling just before we do these static stretches because that's going to really help get some blood around the muscle and that's going to help us stretch even further and get the muscles even more warmed up before we go out for a run. If you're looking for a foam rolling routine, I filmed a video recently and you'll be able to see that below. Okay, so the first stretch we're going to do is a calf stretch. Each stretch we do today, I want you to hold for approximately 30 seconds. So we're going to start by putting both hands on a flat surface. If we're starting on our right leg, we're going to keep that nice and straight and take that behind us. We're going to bend our front leg. And what I want you to do is keep your heel on your right foot flat to the ground. And you should feel a really nice stretch down the back of your calf muscle. Okay, and swap legs. Same again, so take your left foot behind you, keep that front leg bent, and I want you to really keep that heel pressed firmly to the ground. Okay, so the next stretch we're going to do is our hamstring and IT band. So if we're starting on our right side, what I'd like you to do is cross your right leg in front of your left. And just ever so slowly bend forward and then touch your toes, the floor. If you can't quite stretch that, for, that far, you can just touch your shins or your ankles. You should feel this stretch in your hamstring and down the side of your leg which is your IT band. For each of these stretches, as you exhale your breath, just see if you can stretch a little bit further. nice and slowly and then swap legs.
Okay, so the next stretch is going to be a quad stretch. So we'll start on our right leg. You might need to hold on to a wall or a chair for this one if you're a little unsure of your balance. So I want you to take your right foot, lift it up and take hold of it with your right hand. And I want you to make sure that you push your hips forward and you really try and squeeze your heel into your bum and you should feel a really nice stretch down the front of your quad. Okay, swap legs. The further you push your hips forward on this one, the more you should feel the stretch in your quad muscle. Okay, so the next stretch we're going to do is our hip flexors. So we're going to go on the ground for this one. And again, we'll start by stretching our right hip flexor first. So we're going to take our left leg out in front of us. We're going to keep our right leg on the ground. And we're just going to tilt ourselves forward. So we're putting most of our weight through our left leg. And you should really feel the stretch down the join in your right hand hip flexor. Again, try and keep your hips pushed forward on this one, your chest up. And if you want to increase the stretch a little further, you can just lift your arms in the air and just gently tilt yourself back. This is a really good stretch for maintaining good posture when you run, keeping those hips forward. As our body gets tired when we run, our hip flexors usually tighten up and that makes us fold ever so slightly in the middle. So doing this stretch will keep them healthy and keep your running posture where it needs to be. Okay, and swap legs. So we'll be able to see a little bit more clearly now this time around, I'm just trying to stretch in this in this joint here, in the left hip flexor and again just to extend that stretch a little bit more we're just going to lift our arms in the air we're going to keep our hips pushed forward and we're just going to tilt our upper body back just to open up that hip flexor even more Okay, and the next stretch we're going to do is our glutes and piriformis. So we're going, to go, we're going to go on the floor on this one. And I want you to just go up into a straight plank position like this. We're going to take our left foot and we're going to position that towards our right hand. So our left knee should drop in by our left hand, just like so. And then I want you to try and let your hips touch the floor, keep that back leg nice and straight and you should feel this stretch just on the outside of your left leg here and in your left glute and if you want to deepen the stretch a little bit further 
you can just let your upper body go to the floor like so. Okay, we to gently come out of that stretch, back to our plank position and swap sides. So right foot to left hand, right knee to right hand. And if you want to start in the upright position for the first few seconds, and then as you feel the stretch deepen a little bit more, we can just place our forearms on the ground. Okay guys, and the final stretch we're going to do today is our outer hip and our T-band again. So we're going to lay on our backs this time. We're going to start with our right leg. So when you keep your knees nice and bent, feet flat on the floor, and we're going to place our right foot across our left leg. And we're just going to apply a little bit of pressure to the right knee, just pushing it forward slightly. And you should feel the stretch just along your outer hip on your right leg and your IT band. And if you want to deepen the stretch a little bit more, you can place both hands behind your left hamstring and just lift your leg up. swap sides. So this time we're going to place our left foot across our right leg. You can just start by applying a little bit of pressure to that left knee, just pushing forward slightly to deepen the stretch in your outer hip and IT band. And then if you want to take it a little bit further, we can take both hands behind our right hamstring and just lift our leg off the ground like so. Okay guys, so that's the end of today's stretching routine. You can always follow this with some dynamic stretching and some activation work before you head out for your run. Um, I'm going to be bringing a specific activation, running specific warm up um, to the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you drop it a like, leave a comment below if you found this helpful and useful. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh.